What's going on everybody, it's cool that tip you guys. We have a video showing you guys exactly how to get the new assault rifle, the new DLC assault rifle called the RVN. Anybody can get it, you don't need to purchase anything, you don't need to spend a single cent. If you get the season pass, you automatically get it. You also can get out of supply drops and there are variants that are only attainable through supply drops. We'll have an epic weapon video using the RVN very, very soon. It's being edited right now, so stay tuned for that. But we wanna show you guys how you can just get it anywhere because they don't make it very clear they do say you can get it from challenges but they don't really say where or how so basically if you just go to create a class and then go to the assault rifles it'll be at the very bottom you have to scroll all the way down and at the very bottom of the screen it should show you the challenge as you guys see on the screen right now and you guys will see that you have to use a weapon accessory that you attain by prestiging your weapon and it has to be one of the energy weapons so that could be the r3k the type 2 or the volk as you guys see here so it doesn't take too long to level up your weapon it might take you like an hour or so then after that you have to get 200 kills which really isn't that much i mean that's a pretty good deal to get a brand new weapon for free compared to how we've had to get them in the past so i definitely think it's worth it to just try out the weapon yourself you guys are seeing gameplay with it right now it's a pretty solid weapon it's pretty fun to use i think in this game i ended up getting like a 25 gun shaker i started off 30 and 0 or something and this is right when i started using the weapon so it's definitely a very solid weapon if you're going for the challenge you want to know which energy weapon is the best i definitely suggest using the volk i think that's the best out of all of them in my opinion although if you're more of a hardcore player and you think it's easier to get kills in hardcore then i think the type 2 might be a little bit better or even the wreck to be honest i mean it's going to be a one burst every time i think the best way to get kills definitely is going to be playing domination you'll probably get the most kills in that and if you feel like there's so many sweats in domination or whatever you could try hardcore domination and that should be just as easy but just to talk about the weapon a little bit it is a two round burst assault rifle i think i said that earlier i think you definitely want to throw fusion mag on it when you get it i've been using basically quick draw on fusion mag and i used it a little bit with suppressor and it's pretty good with that too so if you like throwing a lot of attachments on your gun you might as well try it out and maybe some of you guys don't play infinite warfare currently and you're wondering whether or not it's worth it to grind for this weapon and in my opinion considering how easy it is to get it really i i would definitely try it out for myself even if you like infinite warfare just a little bit i'm glad i got on and got to try it it's definitely a worthwhile weapon to use like you're not going to get completely destroyed using it and now that i'm thinking about it i wish i would have used it in hardcore to see because like i said it's a two round burst so i wonder if it'll kill in two bullets in hardcore i would assume it would but i guess you never know and you don't really know how consistent it'll be so i kind of want to try that out for myself now but for everyone debating whether or not they want to grind for it i, I would say yeah you definitely want to try it out like i said it's not too difficult it'll probably take you a few hours max to be able to get it and like i said that's way better than grinding for a few hours to get enough keys to open up one supply drop for a very very small chance to get the new weapon so i'm very glad that they did this i think this is definitely a step in the right direction also they're going to be doing a live stream detailing future updates including weapon levels and a new mission team and stuff like that so we're going to be doing a video on that later as soon as they do the live stream i'll be putting it together as it's going on so make sure you guys subscribe and tune in for that or if you're watching this video late we may have already uploaded it so you can check it out in the description there as well but hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did if you have any other questions feel free to ask them in the comments and i I would be more than happy to answer them for you, but that's gonna do it guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, see ya.